Bitcoin is going higher and higher, but for how long can that continue? Do we maybe get a retracement here pretty soon or is Bitcoin just off to the moon? That is something that I want to talk about today. Hi, my name is Alex from Iron Crypto and let's get here as usual straight into the charts. So I'm here on the one hourly time frame. So here on the one hourly time frame, we can see after we had here locally bottomed out um, after hitting $38,340, we had here then another jump to the upside all the way up to 42,618. So and now in that region, we are in my opinion forming a bull flag. It's not the most beautiful bull flag. It still is one. So and the target of that bull flag, and here guys, it comes once again, the target would be all the way up here at $45,166 uh, 45, approximately would be the technical target of that bull flag. So can we still take advantage and trade this bull flag? Yes, of course. So the bull flag did not yet have a confirmed breakout to the upside here. So once the price jumps here to the upside, breaks above that bull flag, retests it successfully and bounces then off, that is a perfect entry to play this bull flag and to ride it to the technical target. So let's quick see percentage wise how much that would bring us if we would, let's say we get into here at that level. So that would be almost a 7% trade. So if you trade that with 20x leverage, that could be uh, almost 140% uh, profit here on this specific trade. And if you want to take advantage of these trade calls that I give in real time on my Twitter account, then just um, subscribe to my Twitter account, my crypto coach. Then let's move on here to the daily chart. So I believe here in the short term that we could see here a move to the next Fibonacci level of $43,000 um, $3, approximately here, the 0 0.382. So for now, we got rejected more or less with the last three day candles. They all tried to uh, test this level and got rejected. So, but you know, you're often, uh, you, more often we are testing a level, the weaker it gets and the more likely it will break. And you know, we will then continue to trend here to the upside. So, and here these Fibonacci levels, I'm saying that because the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.65, which is the golden ratio here, is acting like a magnet for the price. <clears throat> So, and we usually come up here to the golden ratio. And from there we have then a smaller retracement, come um, back to the golden ratio and continue to move higher. So, and based on what I see here on these Fibonacci levels, we could see in the next, let's say 14 days that we actually come up here to the golden ratio. So we will see $50,000 per Bitcoin. And by next month, in my humble opinion, I believe that we will have a new all-time high. So why do I think that we will get a new all-time high? On what do I actually base that other than the Fibonacci levels? Let me show it to you here. And another reason is the volume profile. So you guys know it already. Uh, I like to use the volume profile. So here you can see right now, we are trying to break above this volume bar here. So which is lining up at 41,636. So then once we break above that volume bar, you see here all the way up to these volume bars here, there's nothing. So there's no real resistance. So we could see a really quick move here to the upside. Uh, once we are holding over $41,640 approximately and move here above that Fibonacci level. So you can see here that we could see a move here once we get over that level of approximately 
more or less $5,000 before we hit the next resistance, which is funny enough, more or less lining up with the 0 0.5 uh, Fibonacci level here at $47,144. So one scenario that I could imagine is that once we are clearing this volume bar and trading above it, that we actually move here to the upside and spike through that Fibonacci level and then come down again trade a little bit sideways and then the second time get above it and then test the golden ratio. So that is a really, really likely scenario in my opinion. And once we are in that golden ratio here, once we are up here, uh, we are already trading above these three resistance levels uh, based on the volume profile. On the next one, the next one would be here, the next Fibonacci extension so and that would be the 0 0.786 level at uh, $57,367 so and once we're trading above this specific volume bar here there is nothing in our way to go to the all-time high and actually also break it then so once we're above that level here we will see really really quick afterwards a new all-time high. There is also here the EMA ribbon. The EMA ribbon is also finally here with the yellow string coming up to the upside. So and every time when the yellow string is on the upper end of the EMA ribbon, then we are entering in a new uptrend. So that is exactly what we want to see. So and by today, uh, by sorry, by tomorrow's candle, we will trade with the yellow band on the upper end. And the only thing that's then missing is that we get at some point the retest of the EMA ribbon on the daily. So it, and the, there is a possibility that this will happen, let's say here at $42,000 um, and the price is here moving higher and then come back down to test the EMA ribbon here. As support and then we'll trade to the uh, to the upside and continue to move here to the upside so yeah let's see and uh, watch what is here playing out um, I don't really see here any scenario where we will head lower so the daily is based on the stochastic RSI let me pull it up here quick here highly overbought so we need a correction here to the downside uh, on the stochastic RSI. But in the price action, it, um, there it's possible that we just see a sideways move and the price is not really dropping. So that is definitely something that, um, that we should not rule out uh, as a possibility. Or the price will correct slightly to the downside over the next coming days so that the stochastic RSI can cool down and then we continue our move here to the upside. Other than that, there is not really much downside potential. In the short term, we could see if the bull flag would fail here and we would break it to the downside, then the downside target would be 38,000, yeah, which would be an 8% move to the downside approximately. Uh, that would be not all too bad if that would actually happen. So because then all the indicators would have cooled down once we hit here 38. And from there, we could then move also once again um, to the upside and continue to trade here to the upside. Overall, I'm highly bullish right now from what I'm seeing here in the charts. We see here one parabolic move here after the other. So, and uh, yeah, that makes me really, really excited for um, the next coming days and also the next upcoming weeks. So, and um, yeah, let's have a look how my trade is going right now. So you see here, I have a new trade here on Femex, uh, uh, $232,000 trade. Uh, right now I'm here slightly in, in a loss for 33%, but that is fine. I actually um, have your orders that I will ladder in lower so as the price continues to get into lower levels, and that's absolutely fine. At the breakout of our bull flag, I will put, like I mentioned to you guys, I will put in one Bitcoin 
into this position uh, and continue to trade it to the upside. And if you want to also um, take advantage of uh, the possibility to trade on Femex or on Bybit, then you can still use my Bybit link and get an accumulated bonus of uh, $2,500 right, right now. So, and with the Bybit link, there is something special. This link is only valid until tomorrow. After tomorrow, this bonus is gone already. It was only for a limited amount of time that we that I could get it back only for my community and my bonus. So yeah, after tomorrow, this will be unfortunately gone again. So guys, and I almost forgot here something. Uh, let me see on which chart I have it here. So I forgot here something. So I, and that is the next resistance level above us. So I will make these ones now green because they are now support and they're based on 12 hourly chart. So now let me point out the next level of resistance here. So that would be all the way up here. Another color. So here, and let me show it to you. There you see these candles. This is the next level of resistance. So because it was in the past support here, then we broke that box, then it became here again support, then we traded above it so we can see it here. It was all the time giving us support. Then here on the bottom it was support and here we started to breaking down. And since that point, this box is now heavy resistance. So, but once we are trading above that box here, we will see a new all-time high. And that's what I'm right now waiting for, to see that the price actually will come up and test this um, specific resistance box here. So yeah, that's it already for today again, guys. Um, sorry that I could not upload for a last day video. I was traveling to have an interview. So that was the reason uh, why I could not upload a video the, the last days. Yeah, but as always, guys, smash up the likes, destroy the YouTube algorithm, click the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time when I upload a new video. And as always, guys, see you tomorrow.